Sculpty is brought to you by Baby Lock. Baby Lock sewing and long arm machines, from piecing to long arming for the love of sewing. Aurafil. Aurafil Italian thread, perfectly suited for all your quilting projects. Dear Stella, a unique fabric brand with modern style. Fairfield. Together, we can make beautiful things. Hovel's Sewing. Cut to the point with Hovel's Sewing. Moda. Make something quilty with Moda Fabrics. Northcott. Cottons that feel like silk. Omnigrid. Providing quilters with specialty rulers and accessories for over 30 years. Hi, welcome to Quilty. I'm Mary Fonts, your host. This is Spoolie. Recognize him from the magazine? Quilty Magazine is no longer, but the show going strong. Um, I am going to make a square and a diamond uh, block today. It's also called the economy block, and I like that name better. It's also called square and a square. I mean, got a lot of names. But this is the block, and you see this so much, especially right now, the modern quilters really like it. It's a very old block. Um, this is the pattern. It comes from the Fonts and Porter website. It's a it's a it's a block that is in this quilt from the International Quilt Study Center. This is a quilt from oh man, probably like eighteen something. Usually these are from eighteen something. So you can get this free download at fontsandporter.com. And this pattern, for, the first thing I'm going to do before we talk about the block is talk about this pattern. It says challenging, but I am of the opinion, and I've always been of the opinion that you're a beginner quilter and then you're an intermediate, and you stay an intermediate quilter for the rest of your life. To be to say, oh, I'm an advanced quilter, it's like, oh, really? Um, it's kind of like, I have nothing left to learn. So don't, I mean, if you're very, very beginning, this is not the quilt for you. But the thing is, once you learn how to make flying geese, and you learn how to make this block, you can actually make this, and you might really enjoy it. Make a baby quilt size to start out with anyway. So what I do when I have a pattern, you can see notes that I've written. I need to make a bunch of these blocks, okay? And I make scrap quilts, so I don't usually cut, well, this is a scrap quilt. So anyway, I cut out my pieces, and then I kind of make make this note as I'm cutting, rather than referring to this pattern again and again, I'll make a post-it that says A squares, you know, a, the A piece is four and a half inches square. Okay, so when I'm cutting A pieces, I just look at this instead of this whole thing. B, I need three and a half inch strips for the C, part I need four and seven eight inch squares it's just kind of helpful and then I'll probably draw this little thing to, to see like oh I'm making this block and that's what a is and that's what b is and that's what c is okay just a little tip for you a little tip for you and this of course gets really ratty and I probably should have a fresh copy for the show but I don't okay so now let's okay this is what we're doing a b c so much to say um you make this part first and one of the other tips is when you have all this thread, you know, snip it off before you add your other pieces, okay? It just reduces bulk. Well, it reduces mess. Thread doesn't take up much space, but it's it's just dirty birdie. <laughs> okay, so, so I know that I need from my little post-it, my A pieces, I need four and a half inch square. Okay, I'm gonna cut a four and a half inch square. That's the one thing I'm gonna cut today. Well, no, I'm gonna do a little bit more. Okay, four and a half inch square. I line up my piece of fabric. I love this notion now. It's my new favorite thing from OmniGrid, a little gripper. A little gripper. Okay, four and a half inch square. Okay, so I do this and then I turn this and I cut four and a half inch squares. Great, fabulous. We have our four and a half inch squares. Then, I need a three and a half inch strip. I've cut this ahead of time. And I need three and a half inch strip. I need three and a half inch squares as well, okay? So what we're gonna do there, I'm actually gonna do this because I wanna show you how to get it lined up just right on your economy block center. Three and a half inch squares, strangely because, you know, We'll go into it. Okay, so here are our three and a half inch squares. All right, so we need to add them to this center, center block. And what's challenging about this, or what you just need to get the hang of, is well, how do you line up that thing? It actually can be kind of hard because you're like, okay, I have to line up the edge. Mm, no, but the edges hang off. Well, it, did I cut it the wrong size? No, you didn't. So to do this properly, I think the easiest way, rather than marking it, I mean, who has time for that? Not me. Not you, not Matt, 
not Heather. Jack, do you have time for this? No. Okay, so I'm gonna fold this again. I mean, I'm gonna fold this piece too. So you're just folding it in half and finger pressing it to find center. So you do that, then you have these two little center creases and you know you're gonna be lined up just right. All right, I'm gonna sew this puppy. Don't sew puppies. Put this down right there. Okay, and you go. Keep that lined up, don't let that get away from you. So now, what I would do first, y'all, is add your other side. You, you do opposite sides first. You sew these two on first. Like, you can't do this. My point is that you can't, you can't add them like this. You have to do opposite sides first, okay? And so then it saves time because you do these two at the machine before you before you press one. I mean, to go to sew one and then go to the machine, to the pressing surface, press it and then go back to do this, you know, very silly. So you get that, you press. The other one would be on there, press them together and open them up. Fabulous. Okay. So you've got those two pieces on. You add the other ones and you end up with your little guy here who's getting a little hairy. That's all right. Um Okay, and then you've got, then you cut your triangles just like you did. Refer to your note. Okay, for my C, I need a four and seven eighths inch square. Slice it in half. Do the same thing. Mark your middle. Sew opposite sides, opposite sides, and you get your square in a square. And I'll tell you something. Did I just blow your mind? Did I? Yeah. Because this can be set on point, and then it looks totally different. So very cool and uh, yeah these are these are great they show up a lot and this pattern is intense but maybe you do a couple baby quilts and you're like I'm ready I'm gonna do something big I like big quilts for the bed those are the show stopper quilts okay so that's it for the demo today see you next time on Quilty goodbye Quilty is brought to you by Baby Lock Baby Lock sewing and long arm machines from piecing to long arming for the love of sewing Arafil Aurafil Italian Thread, perfectly suited for all your quilting projects. Dear Stella, a unique fabric brand with modern style. Fairfield, together we can make beautiful things. Hovel's Sewing, cut to the point with Hovel's Sewing. Moda, make something quilty with Moda Fabrics. Northcott, cottons that feel like silk. Omnigrid, providing quilters with specialty rulers and accessories for over 30 years.